What's going on? With the juicy tang. Tang. I'm going hard in the motherfucking tank. Dirty I'm boy. Oh yeah, I'm a dirty boy. Ain't no saying. Stool Scenes, episode 71, part two, and I gotta tell you, we have a special episode today. You might wanna sit back and relax, maybe on a Lisa mattress, and maybe one that you got for a great price. You can get a king, you can get a queen, maybe a California king, if you're feeling a little bit frisky, maybe you wanna have some friends over and they wanna sleep in the bed too. $160 off, lisa.com slash barstool. I mean, this is about as good of a deal as you're ever gonna come across. Get a mattress, I sleep on one, this is a true fact, look right in the camera, I sleep in one every single night and I sleep like a baby, it's beautiful. Listen, we got a special episode. We got other stuff going on. We're saving it for Tuesday's episode. We're going right in. Full behind the scenes of Pop Punk's first show. Let's pick it up. Yesterday, the day before yesterday, that was the day before the show. Everyone's getting ready. Let's see what the scene was like. I'm just getting my nails painted. Fuck! Give it one more Frankie, stroke. what are you filming this for? He it's always does this. It's a stroke of a fucking nail polish. That's how. That's what you call it. I, I know, but you say, you, say, you say, give it one more stroke. I don't call it a stroke. Give it one more stroke. Can we flash back at this moment to when Frank said, can you put that in your mouth? I'll pass out. <laughs> Just say it. I don't know what that is. Put your mouth in the middle. Pass out. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was so creepy. What did you say? He said, put, put your mouth on that, I'll pass out. Put that in your mouth, I'll pass out. Just, just fucking paint the nails. Okay. <laughs> Can you turn to me? Listen, Pop Punk has a show tomorrow. You gotta do what you gotta do to get into that mindset. That Girl, stop talking, you're ruining his... Uh... <laughs> Frankie's trying to have a moment, dude. <laughs> he doesn't need you in his head while he's watching he's trying it. trying to get that stroke on you. This has turned into one of the most bizarre the most awkward, of all time. The most awkward encounters I've had in this office. <laughs> that moment. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Concert, you definitely don't wear the shirt with the band you're going to see. That's a, I'm trying that's, to support your bands. Can I have a shirt? I'm not the one that makes the shirts. The guy that makes the shirts quit. Oh, shit. Right, Michael, Michael. Keep, keep, I know where the shirts are. Huh? I don't I want one. I don't Daniela, want one. Daniela has one. I don't want one. Why? We're a fucking plain shirt because Robbie doesn't want me to support. Oh, Frank is back. I was just uh, <laughs> Kmart. Hide your like, fingers. Kmart was Mr. Cool Guy. I wanted to have him maintain Hide his Hide your breath. fingers. We pick things up July 12th, 2018, a day that will go down in history. Pop Punk at Irving Plaza. It's showtime. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I've got a little bit of nerves. Last night I had like the kid before Christmas. Couldn't get to sleep. I was pretty excited. Um, it's good nerves though. I mean, it might turn to bad nerves right before the show where I start puking, but um, I'm feeling good. I just want to get there and play. What's like the biggest thing that's on your mind during this? Uh, I don't want to break a string. I told myself I was going to change strings last week and I didn't. So kind of playing with fire there. You could really throw a monkey wrench into things. Because you don't want to change them now to be too foreign? Oh yeah. If you change them right now, they'll just slip out of tune within like 30 seconds. So I kind of box myself into a corner. Interesting. Yes. Living on the edge. Failing to prepare is hey, preparing to fail. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, it's actually sex not changing your strings a week before your concert and rock and roll. That's the new drugs. What's the, the vibe of the band right now, kind of between all the members? Things were tense this morning. We had we had a little disagreement on what time we were going to go on stage tonight. Uh, I said 9.45, Robbie said 10. Um, that was actually a very heated conversation. Robbie made a lot of strong points. I made a lot of strong points, but that's you know that's our democracy in America. You, you get in a room, you hash out your differences, and you compromise. So we're going on at 9:52 and a half. Francis and, and PFT got together and decided to push everything forward a half an hour. Didn't tell anybody, on like ever, and then we found out like you know now a few hours before we go on that everything's pushed back. 
So uh, there, there was a little bit of drama. Tensions are running high. We're all stressed out today. Day of the show, you can probably hear it in my voice. I am shitting my pants. Uh, yeah, no, it's resolved now. Everything's, everything's about 15 minutes back from where it was, but we made a compromise. Met in the middle. Fucking excited. Pumped. What's PFT? First, first frame? song was recorded in my living room, so I mean, I'm not gonna take all the credit for Pup Punk, but you could say without without me, Pup Punk doesn't exist. Or it is today. It's kind of like seeing your baby grow up. You know, I feel like I'm letting it off to college to go be free and be as big as you can be. He's gonna fucking kill it. You serious? Not worried at all about it. No, dude. The Pup Punk, like I think people, like obviously they're a joke band, but. They're all actually really, really good musicians, so it's going to be an awesome show. Big day. Big day for the guys. But it, somehow it all feels old. How you feel? You feel great? You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to talk to nobody. This is our manager, Nate. He'll, uh, he'll speak for us. I feel good. You know, just, just calm. You wearing your own shirt? Yeah, we clocked some shirts. You can't wear your own shirt. Yeah. With the pretty, Beatles? It would be pretty pop punk of you to wear your own shirt. Yeah. I mean, I'm wearing my own shirt right now. Yeah. Everybody says you can. Uh, you know, awesome. You doing wardrobe yeah. changes or are these like selections? This is a preview. <laughs> and that's the mood. Where'd you get that? I had it made. Sick. MTV made. A lot of pressure. I've been trying to get in the mindset all day. I haven't really talked to anybody. This is the most of talking I've done all day. Have been to the venue. That eased the nerves a little bit. I've been to the venue a dozen times more probably for concerts, but I just stood on the stage where I'm going to stand tonight, and it was, it was nerve-wracking, but it was like, all right, I can do this. My rider is uh, saltines and ginger ale because I'm literally afraid that I'm going to shit myself. People don't understand. They use, they're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to shit myself. I will literally shit myself. <laughs> What's going on? Um, I'm just painting nails. I painted what? Caleb's, I painted Jared's, now Trent. We're all matching. I got peer pressured into it. I wasn't going to do it. And then Jared gave me a lot of peer pressure and I decided to do it. You got to get into the mood. I got college memories too going cool stuff. I don't know, I should get I think it's going to be a good decision. Now it's a tough subject, but I feel like the people at home want to know, due to the history, well, do you have any plans for tonight? Uh, I'm on the list. You going? Uh, I think so, yeah. Any feelings? Just here to support the band, that's all. Team guy, company guy. Yep. I think that's a personal decision for Smitty. I want to... Make him feel one way or the other about if he, if he feels comfortable coming if he wants to, then we'd be happy to have him. If not, I, I get it. You're talking to a Star Wars fan with anxiety and panic disorder. Playing a rock show was not in, in the books, you know? And cool. now we're playing an almost sold out rock show at an iconic venue. We went into the dressing room, it's like, oh, look who was here last. Uh, the Ramones, Spoof Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Pup Punk. Wait, wait, what? We are playing a uh, show at Irving Plaza in front of like a thousand people and I rented my drum, I picked up my drum set this morning, I rented it. I didn't know what it sounded like, looked like until sound check. Uh, yes, we did sound check. The guy comes up to me, he said, he says, oh, nice amp, how does it sound? And I said, I don't know, I've never turned it on before. Which is one minute. Well, we're going we're gonna to do, I think we're doing 8.50. I think we're pushing back five minutes. We're doing another. Who's making the calls? It was... Sean? Yeah, I think we're we push to 850. Our manager says go for 845. So. Okay. You want to go 850? Yeah. 850. Yep. 850. All right. Hard in. Trump you see that? You see that fucking loud Sean Power move? You see that hey, fucking loud Sean Power move? Sean, this guy is getting power move by a lot. <laughs> what happened? The guy who back you down. Twenty one seventeen. The guy says, "Hey, hey, we're gonna do." He says, "We're gonna do eight forty-five." Loud Sean, drop the hammer. Yeah, and then drop the hammer. Francis, what's the what's the pre-show beverage look like? I drink a Heineken. Just one. Sometimes two. You like gauge how much you can drink by like doing yeah. the set. Like, did you like? Yes, have to I've do gone over. First, yeah, like, I've like, gone over. Let me what try I, doing one drink before this set and see yeah, how yeah. I, I went over once, yeah. and I was like, <laughs> never again. That was the last again. time. Yeah. 
I've never gone over in my life. Always perfect buds. <laughs> so shout out to my, my good, close, personal friend, Conor McGregor. A little pre-show stretch right here. It's for you, Conor. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. 12 year old Frankie Pirelli looking drummer. We talk about this all the time. Barcel gives you opportunities to do things that like are dreams, like as, as, as like. And nightmares. It's like rough and rowdy. When you walk out into a rough and rowdy main event, you have a fucking spotlight on you and you're playing to the music. You get a knockout on pay per view. Like, who else gets to experience that? Hmm? It was real sexual right now. <laughs> I feel, feel something. See you? <laughs> I'll be yeah, I'll be queuing Caleb. Who's queuing Devlin? Who's... <laughs> stage manager would be queuing Devlin. So you're gonna follow them in and you're gonna queue stage manager. You know yeah. that, right? Yeah. All right. We have coming. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Go. Welcome to the pay-per-view for Punk Punk Live from Irving Plaza. We're backstage. Oh, uh, Take it. We got Big Cat right here. We're backstage and the band's right here. Uh, it's good. Uh, we've been on chat roulette and we've seen like 17 Russian dicks. So we're having a time. <laughs> Fuck you. Kill be some nervous jitters, but it's not like that. Anxiety jitters. Big difference, you know. It's performance jitters. Performance jitters. They're good jitters. Uh, See that hair on my arm? It's standing up. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> standing up. Yo, I think you're Spider-Man now. Fuck yeah, I'm standing up. Stand-up comics. People are gonna get a little tipsy before we go on. We're gonna sound like the Beatles to these people. They're gonna be like, that might be the greatest band of all time. It's gonna be so awful for me to stand up there with Barcelona Van Tocco and then go to the drop. Where his drink paint drops, right. then it's like... Are you gonna oh, rap Big Cat with the juicy like, taint? Yeah, I mean, I think the song is playing. I was actually saying it'd be funny if they, if I lip sing it and they purposely stop the tape. And I was just... I know, I know, I know, I know. Because I never learned the words to shit. Like, I can't... I know Big Cat with the juicy taint, going hard in the motherfucking paint. Paint. I got paint in my mustache. No, that's paint. the end. It's paint. Paint, uh, paint. I got paint in my mustache. It's paint. Yeah, paint, paint all in my nutsack. Paint all in my butt crap. No, but that's not the third bar though. Oh, what do you say? Yeah, no, it's, it's such a, it's such a fucking smooth. It's a uh, fuck. What is it? Got the pine finish stain my deck. Yeah. Uda. Big cat with your sand. Going hard in the motherfucking paint. I'm a dirty boy. Ain't no saint. That's what it is. Puff the fumes until I faint. Got the pine finish when I stay in my deck. Paint, wash it drip right down my neck. Paint, paint on my mustache. Paint on my butt crack. Paint on my I don't learn the words. Get off, go to light the blunt. You pick up the blunt. And I pick up the blunt. And I fucking get the crowd. I would have been. While I'm lighting the blunt. I'm coming with you. YP. No, you come out. You come <laughs> Let me out tell you something. Song. Sure. Let me tell you something. He's coming out at the first song. Punk. Everyone else come out during the second song. Let's fucking... Go! I'm ready. I am fucking ready. Good out there? Dude, it, 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 I mean, I like your shit, so whether the crowd is good or not, I'm ready for it. The crowd is good. It's not that beer is as big as you, bro. It is. Oh, God damn. Oh, my God. It's like, it's like four of these beers is me. During this, you just hand me the mic. Yeah, yeah. And I will come out till the first drink. That's what I'll come out. Yeah. Sipping out some glossy white. Drink. Wash it down. You remember your verse? Yeah, we're just going cat with the juicy time. I'm going hard in the motherfucking time. Dirty boy. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a dirty boy. Ain't no saint. Help the fumes until I faint. Boom. Paint. Got the neck. No, pine finish. Going to in my deck. Watch that paint dripping down my neck. Paint. Love that paint in my mustache. Paint all in my butt crack. Paint all in my nutsack. Oh, okay. Can we say taint, butt yeah, crack, right, and nutsack? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the meat. Go, Joe! Down in the bayou. 
Coach O. So when, when you do that with the cat, yeah. when I say Coach O, you hold your mic to the crowd. Yeah. And then when you sit down in the bio, I'll hold my mic to the crowd. Okay. I'll, I'll fuck up. If I have a mic with a yeah, just cord on it, I'll probably trip. Just, like something just, stupid. Yeah, yeah, you gotta walk right. away with it. I think yeah, we figured out a life no, hack to just getting here, girls to come to a concert is just be a cover band. Mm -hmm. Just play songs that they know the words to. New, Green Day, New Found Glory, Blink-182, all played on the stage. Not bad. Paul McCartney. Not, not to mention like Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney maybe heard Prince. Uh, Prince. Oh, is he? What was Paul McCartney? Is he like big? Ah, uh, the bird. It's the lighter. It's sick. Lights go out. Spotlight hits me. Boom. Boom. Oh, thunder. And then all of a sudden, Robbie hits it. Boom. Boom. And it hits him. The light. Oh, dude. dude. You already did it in like soundtrack? Fucking And then B and C does the guitar. And then the lights go crazy. The lights and go then fun. and then you go, let's go, boom, and then the CO2 goes fucking flying into the crowd. Dude, dude It's like a legit fucking lighting <laughs> Such a gong show that it was awesome. like that sick. I don't remember when we were sitting at the desk like joking around. Yeah. It's like we were like, we're starting a yeah, pop punk yeah, band. Yeah. It's like a joke. And we got MVMT to sponsor our music video because we were like, if Dave finds out we used company money to do this music video, he's gonna kill us. Two boy Big Epic has a double vodka John. Not to be confused with two single vodkas, a double vodka. We were backstage, pop punk. France is out right now, tearing it down. It's about to be a great show. Tune in, let's go. Hit the CO2. You'll know. When I hit the CO2, I need you in the pit and take two handfuls of confetti and throw it up and towards the crowd. It's going to be such a moment, dude. like a two-second burst, and then I'm only doing it, then I'm doing it like very sparingly. Like, you're so low. Drink pain. Finale. This is the I'm biggest moment of life stage. right now. Definitely. Oh. Is that a rare one? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna light it right before I like pre light it before I go, so it's easier to light up. It's your solo after tips of the tree. I'm, I'm honestly more worried about like riding out my skateboard and falling. With the blunt light, you're gonna ride out the skateboard. Ride out, I'm getting off. It's awesome. Pick up the board and get the crowd hype while I light it and then start the music. Yeah, I'll like stick this around. Where's security? Just come on, fucking. You take some out. Who'd have been locked up before? What? For this moment, Buddha. Oh, it's falling apart. Well, that's why you light it back in back here instead of on stage. Hey, how are you? Hey, hey. Devlin is having FOMO right now. Staring at that butt. I smoked two of those. He's wearing his Chinese Super Bowl ring. You didn't see that. Welcome to the green. Wow, I'll be smoking on stage. I'm about to go get shit. I think a small hit. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, oh, it took an Olden's in forever? That's vanilla. Rare. Ooh. What kind of, uh, what strain do we go with tonight, bro? Any occasion? I forgot the name. Sour Diesel? No. <laughs> so the rider, I can't take you through all of it, I can tell you that. Uh, this ginger ale is mine. And these saltines are mine, because I have a bad stomach. The fox stomach, that's what we call it. Everyone in the family has it. Everything else is like, I think people put, uh, I don't know, clip bars. Frankie put carrot sticks on it. It's the least rock and roll rider of all time. Feel good? Not worried. Never worried. Not worried. I'm never scared. Do I need my cell phone on stage? I might want to tweet while I'm up there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Back to the blog line. Go, oh, baby.
Oh man. This is the guy with the juicy tape right here. Oh yeah, the pony. I did get a lot of words. It's a no, it's a no brainer end, end, ending. I thought you were about to stone cold him. No, yeah, I that would have been. You should, well, I literally came up here just to get a beer, and then as I was walking in, I was like, oh fuck, I'd probably go down for that. Yeah. It worked out. Let's go, Big M. <laughs> this is so Big M, this bitch. Stage diver bus. Let's go. Oh. Big M, you sweating it all? A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. I was sweating before I put the you All right, so we're going to slow down just a little bit. Oh, wow, just got hit with the claw. Go slow with the claw. You guys are soft. With the claw.
Scott Rivers. Oh, Scott Rivers. Let's go, dude. Yeah. It's another day. I mean, Woo! I'm not excited. That felt so good. I'm not excited about it. Oh yeah. I thought of it after. I was like, God damn it! We should have fucking done that. Coordinated. And just ripped open it during out. the play. I was, I was a little. Both of these were ripped open. <laughs> all for one. Dude, we killed that boy. Was that good timing? COVID. Yeah. You're not gonna fall asleep. I was definitely gonna make it. Dude, I don't ever, I don't ever want to not have that ever. That adrenaline. Of so How you feel? I need a beer. Dude, that was incredible. Frank, Frank. Oh, shit, is that a Super Bowl champ? Oh, Anytime anyone asks about the rings, my eyes are here. I mean, a lot of people wear jewelry. You have a watch on. Do I have a watch? It's actually a Fitbit. It's actually a Fitbit. like a watch on my finger, although it signifies like I actually put in effort and hard work to get it. Whoa, bro. Bro. Bro, I'm getting get close, dangerously close to 10,000 steps today. Bro, if he goes downstairs to the bathroom, he I, might hit 10k. I, I probably have to go back downstairs, back up, and then back down, and then back up again, and I hit 10k. Hey, at the door. I mean, I had to just like. Have security guard's like, dude. The guy was like, I'm not letting you in. I was like, bro, I'm wearing eyeliner and my nails are painted black. I was just on the stage. Like, doesn't matter, bro. I'm in my bags. I'm not asking you. Stole scene 71, that's it for Murphy Quad. Thoughts? I thought it went well. Thought it was a satisfactory show? Yes. Yeah, any thoughts on Irving Plaza? It's a nice venue. One more. <laughs> Come on, man, we know you got some more spice than that. It's, a, it's, a, it's electric. <laughs> How's the work environment? It was actually better than a rough and rowdy. How does the uh, peak? Can you rate the um, the working conditions? The Wi-Fi? Uh, they had a hardwired internet, which is what I prefer. Nobody likes Wi-Fi, so that's good. Yeah. Stool Scenes episode seventy-one. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Dude, look at this. Sh Holy fuck, YP. Just do that. Oh, Holy good. Add one to the list to redo tomorrow. Oh my fucking god. Dude, Are you know shitting me? Show me the coil that's fucked up. I don't have time. There's probably one. There's probably just one. Look at this rat. That part wasn't me. That was